And Jackie Chavez said, I just didn't fight her the first time. I said, she said, I got to go out. I got to throw punches. I didn't do that. Well, she says, this time it's going to be different. This time I'm actually going to fight. So we'll see. Sharp right hand by Chavez let to go, start let things. Go. No, let her go. Lisa Brown won their first fight handily. It was not close in the scoring, a near shutout. There you go. But has struggled a bit since then, has not won in her last three fights, two losses in a draw. Her last fight was in November and up in Edmonton, Alberta. She lost a 10-round unanimous decision against Melissa Hernandez, who is an undefeated fighter. She is expecting, she said, a much more difficult fight from Jackie Chavez this time. And the first thing she brings up is the hometown crowd that Jackie Chavez will have. When they first fought, it was in Port of Spain, Trinidad. Even though Lisa Brown now lives in Canada and said she had not been back to Trinidad since she left. And she left uh, when she was 17 years old. That's when she immigrated to Canada. And as Barry says, it's the only time that she's been back to Trinidad is when she fought Java. So she came from a very poor, very tough neighborhood. So she's always been aggressive. It's what makes her a good fighter. So that, where I came from, she said, that's the only way you could ever get what you were after. Lisa Brown leaping in with that right hand, that leave right. Chavez trying to get her jab going. punches from Lisa Brown. She has a tendency to slap a little bit, but she's sure getting there with her punches. Her husband is Errol Brown. Himself is a professional boxer. Let it go, let it go. Both fighters doing a little slapping early in this fight. But again, an action first round, a whistling right hand by Brown. Let go, let go, let go. Coming to the end of the first round. And the one. Jackie Chavez, scheduled for 10 for the Junior Featherweight Championship. I thought Brown won the first round uh, clearly, Barry, and I think Chavez has got to do something fast because what that just became was round 11 of their first fight, which was uh, a near shutout by Lisa Brown. She's got to do something to get respect right away. And Brown continuing to put the pressure on her here. Good body shots. Time Brown came up to the head with the right hand. Jackie Chavez is in a situation though where she has not fought in 14 months. And so she's fighting that as well. She too is a student. Was working a full-time job as well. Gave it up to get ready for this fight. But she is a full-time student at Central New Mexico. And what is in her plans? The Peace Corps yep. in the future. Very interested in water conservation. Feels she could be of help. Hands are free, ladies. Hands are free. Like many female uh, fighters, she got her uh, start in kickboxing and mixed martial arts. She won the three state titles and one national championship in kickboxing. And she became a pro boxer. She said she had to learn how to do things a little bit different, you know, in terms of her stance, had to narrow her stance, had to learn to bend her knees more than she was in kickboxing. And she still does have pretty upright style. And Brown is just taking it to her. 
In the early moments of this fight, it looks like Lisa Brown is too strong for Jackie Chavez. Chavez also has tendency, we talked about her slapping with her punches, she pushes her punches too. Not real quick with her punches. And a two. Silver trunks and uh, Brown sporting the uh, Scotch plaid. Lisa Brown said she started out as a cricket player. She said she was the bomb. She was good. But uh, when she moved up to Canada, she said nobody really cared that she was the bomb in cricket. Exactly. Nobody played in cricket. Got into boxing because uh, her husband are always working her corner. He has a journeyman welterweight. But she said she was really inspired when she saw Christy Martin fight Deirdre Gogarty on a Mike Tyson card when the, the Christy Martin stole the, the show that night. And of course, it was a week later on the cover of Sports Illustrated. But that really got to go. She said she watched that. I saw Christy Martin and I said, this is cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I went to the gym and told him I want a box, but I don't want to get my face messed up. <laughs> and she hasn't. <laughs> She also says she spars with guys up in the gym because she said, I keep beating up all the women. Chavez did at least accomplishing, even though she wasn't going to land any punch, at least accomplishing getting Lisa Brown backing up. That's, that's the first goal I think she's got to get going here. Lisa kind of picks up momentum as she comes in. Jackie should be putting out that jab right now yep. because Lisa's giving her kind of an opening. She's taking a little bit of a breather here. And uh, Chavez is not taking advantage. Now she comes alive, and that'll get the crowd going. And those are much sharper punches than the ones she threw in the last round. Uh, Chavez is doing much better in this round now. Hands up, please. Hands up, please. Three. Step out. Step out. Step There's a right hand from Brown. Coming to the end of round three, and as you said, Rich, a better round for Chavez. tells us she gets very nervous at this juncture. She's unbelievably popular here in New Mexico. And it's interesting because Jackie Chavez said she came to the last Holly Holm fight and she said fans had already forgotten about her. They didn't know who she was. She goes, I'm going to try to change that tonight. Well, she did have a better round, I thought, in that last round. Go. Now Lisa Brown trying to change the style again and get herself going forward. She's the more heavier handed of the two fighters. Good jab from Brown right there. Chad was not real. 
real busy in this round. At our fighter meeting today, it was interesting because Lisa Brown, it was almost as if she was being interviewed on the air. She goes, I want to thank uh, yeah. my sponsors and began to name off about 50 sponsors. I want to thank Cabbage Town Boxing Club. I want to thank my sparring partners. I want to thank Richard, my chief sparring partner. Yeah, she got it all in. U.S. Traffic, one of her sponsors. Nice counter left from Brown. I think Brown has a right of the ship here in this round. She might have might have hurt Chavez with that punch. And another big right hand. Big round for Brown. End of round four. In round number four, Lisa Brown came straight ahead and appeared to start overwhelming Jackie Chavez with her strength and a variety of punches and a little bit more power. And you can see she was driving Jackie Chavez back, back into the ropes, silencing this hometown crowd and requiring her corner, Sergio Garcia, to tell her, hey, you're falling behind, if, or rather Sergio Chavez, you're falling behind on points. So now see if she could get things headed in the right direction. Brown tried to give her a couple of other angles, different angles this time, moving from left to right. Not a bad right hand from Chavez. Little walk around the ring side to side. Might have been watching James Tony a little bit. Yeah. It's one of James' tricks of many. Let go. Let break. Step back. Step back. Chavez really needs to pump that jab out of hers. And uh, she was being told in the corner, pump the jab and then move to the left. Don't just stand straight in front of her. And yet, she is in front of her. But she has managed to keep Brown off her in this round. Crowd taking up a chant, Jackie, Jackie. Said she thought she might be a little nervous. A lot of family and friends in the crowd tonight. Missed with that left hand. And again, Brown with a nice little combination in close quarters. Watch your hands, ladies. Watch your hands. This is a round that I think is probably there for the taking for Chavez, but I'm not sure she's taking it. I, th I think she's being spurred on by the crowd here a little bit. Yeah. Nice finish to the round here by Chavez. She may steal the round with this round. I, I think that's exactly what happened. I think Jackie Chavez stolen that round. Lisa Brown hit that round, get away from her. Jackie Chavez was feeling the fans, I think, here. And they were really giving her a lift, and she came on strong. What an exchange, but that last couple of punches landed by Chavez were the strongest. One more See those last few shots? She was landing the cleaner shots there at the end. And I think you're absolutely right. 